A place of worship in Wilson was hit by stray bullets this week. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live outside the church. And Mackenzie, you spoke with the priests there. Yeah, Angela, that's right. The shooting happened here just outside St. Mark's Episcopal Church. You can see up here one of the bullet holes in this building. We spoke to the priest. He tells me crime in this area isn't uncommon, and unfortunately, the church here isn't immune to it either. It's kind of a beacon of hope. St. Mark's is anchored on the corner of this quaint neighborhood, providing a food pantry, free meals, and clothes to the community. But on Wednesday, this safe haven and place of hope was pierced by bullets. Gunshot, probably about five, five gunshots when I hear it. Inside, children enrolled in the free after-school program were working on homework. Some of the children had already left with their moms. Father Phil Byram says two teachers and at least three kids were still inside. They were at these tables. Just went down. What I saw was uh, unusable. I see some people running. Wilson police arrested a 17-year-old in connection to the shooting. Father Phil tells me this isn't the first time the church has been hit by crime. A few years ago, gang members robbed him at gunpoint inside the church. The detectives felt it was gang members and one was being initiation having to prove his worth. Despite the crime, Father Phil tells me he's never considered relocating and says the after-school program will carry on. We're just going to do the best we can. Now, no one was injured in this shooting, and the 17-year-old that police arrested is being charged with discharging a weapon into an occupied property and discharging from an enclosure. That 17-year-old is being held in jail on a $150,000 bond. We did ask Wilson police if this particular shooting was gang-related. They refused to comment on that, but they did say more arrests are likely. Live in Wilson, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. And Thankfully, no one was hurt.